In this video, we'll look at how to work with materials in Clever. For the demonstration, I'm using a free 3D model from the SketchUp 3D Warehouse. You can find it at bit.ly forward slash cleverhouse. I've imported the model into the Architecture Daylight 8am preset, which you can find on the Create Project screen. The simplest way to add a new material to your scene is to assign one from Clever's library. To do this, click on the Materials menu, then choose Standard. As you can see, Clever has a library of ready-made materials for you to use, organised by type. Let's try assigning one to the scene. Select the grey brick material from the library, then select the Fill tool, and click on an object in the scene. As you can see, Clever has replaced the concrete floor around the house with grey bricks. You can also edit existing materials. Click on the Scene button to see a list of materials in the scene. Let's try replacing the windows in the building with tinted glass. Select the Pick tool. Now click on a glass object in the scene. You can see that its properties have appeared in the panel on the right of the screen. If I click on the colour swatch, you can see that the colour picker appears. Choose a neutral aqua. When you are done, click on the cross icon to close the colour picker. Now let's try making the windows more reflective. Go to the Specular and Reflections drop-down and select Use Diffuse. A new set of properties appears. You can see that the reflections are set to use the reflection map in the scene. You can edit this by clicking on the Environment button in the Scene menu. By adjusting the Fresnel Base setting, you can control the intensity of the reflections. I'm going to use a value of 20. You can also adjust the transparency of the glass. To do this, go to the Opacity rollout. If I drag the slider, you can see the glass becoming more or less opaque. Again, I'm going to use a value of 20. If I rotate the camera, you can see how the new glass material looks. Another way to control the materials in the scene is to use photographic texture maps. This time, instead of editing an existing material, let's create a new one of our own. Select the Pick tool and click on the concrete wall. You can see that it's Material 6 in the Scene Materials. Right-click on its thumbnail and select Duplicate. You can now edit the duplicate without overwriting the existing material. I'm going to call the new material Stone Tiles. Now select the Fill tool. Click on the wall to assign the new material to it. The look of the material is controlled by the texture map shown in the thumbnail. If I click on the cross icon to clear it, you can see that the texture vanishes from the scene. To assign a new texture, click on the up arrow. You can now browse for a new texture map. I'm going to use this one. It's set up to be seamlessly tileable. Click Open to import it into the scene. At the minute, the texture is just a flat colour. Let's fix that. Go to the normal mapping rollout and click the up arrow there. Again, you can browse for a texture map. I'm going to assign this bump map for my stone tiles. When you are ready, click Open. From the drop-down, choose Bump Map. Clever is now using the texture map to simulate the fine details in the surface of the tiles. If you compare these close-ups of the back wall, you can see the difference it makes. To use the new material in other projects, just right-click on its thumbnail in the Scene Materials palette. If you select Save Material, Clever will save it to My Library, ready for you to use in other scenes.